Hey everybody, how's it going? I am hopping in to a 10 minute game of rapid chess today. I'm going up against S7 Sue from Egypt, who only plays rapid games. But do you ever face the elephant gambit in rapid? Is that something that people do? I don't know. Let's try to play a fun game and see if we can get something exciting. So I played knight f6, which is not the most popular way of continuing in this gambit, but this is the position that I'm actually hoping to achieve. I have gambited an entire pawn, but I'm hoping that my queen is actually very annoying on this diagonal, where I make it very difficult for the bishop to move. Because bishop ever moves, I take this. Now, opponent plays c3, which is not a move that I would expect in a position like this. So that is very interesting. My first thought is to go here, and I will I will take a second now. And the reason is because, again, if this bishop moves, I should be able to take this guy and have a tremendous position. It also prevents the queen from coming out. It gets me closer to castling. If you play f3, I certainly will not mind. If you want to play f3, go ahead. c3 and f3 could be a dangerous combination. Okay, opponent threatens bishop to b5, but I get out of the way by castling. It's also here. Wait. Also, I could just give this check. Maybe he brings this bishop, though. I guess that's the idea. This would be stronger if I was castled already. So I castle. But, like, if the queen comes down, okay, you know, I'll just get out of the way with a check. And I feel like that should be good for me. He can have this pawn. Not on the radar. Let's see what he comes up with. I feel like I already have, like, a very pleasant position because I don't think it's very easy for white to castle in this situation. This move seems inevitable. I think this is something that you have to play. So he wants to go here, but you can't castle yet. He's going to play, like, f3. So what I need is a rook here. Rook e8 might actually be fine, but there's here to figure out. But it could actually... Rook e8 might be a very... Might be a very good move. Let's start with this, though. Let's get this out. Let's, like, I just assume if this ever happens, I'm on your rook with check. Something like that should be fantastic. If you go here, I will go here. I want to have my rook here before white can play f3. Uh, just kind of get in the line. Where could these knights go? And we get to this position where, still down a pawn, but I've developed all of my stuff to sort of natural squares. And now we can begin looking for tactics. He's going to be trying to go for this one, I suspect. So if I play bishop f4, he has knight to a4. After which, I can always just trade the queens and things should be fine. Is there... Is there anything else... Let's see if I have a trick. Here, 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 I suddenly have takes. Because takes here and I'm on the queen. Hmm. Let's play for a trick. <laughs> Maybe we can fool the opponent here in a tactical melee. So if here, I'm going to try to, like, blitz out queen to b6. Ah, oh, my knight! Oh, my knight! I can't believe it! I've hung my knight! And the point is, if white does take, I'm gonna hit you with one of those. <laughs> How devious! How evil we are. <laughs> and tactics should flow in my favor. The point, of course, if you go here. I deliver a check, and I take back your queen. This was my, my evil plan. So I can try to avoid taking the rooks, but then I can just take here, and you still lose a queen if you take this thing. Just taking a quick, quick spin around the block. Because, I mean, something else might also be, like, insanely strong. But let's just force it. Wait, is, wait, actually, wait, no! 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 He's going to take this. I'm going to give up this bishop. I'm going to take this queen. He's going to take this bishop. I'm going to take this knight. I think it all works out in the end. So I think... We're gonna be fine here. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna survive this. Also, I mean, come on, just look where the king is. Just look where the king is. Give me this. 
I'm tempted to just deliver this check now, let you take here, and then take this back with uh, some, some amazing threats. But let's go here. Make sure that we can at least get this knight back. But we can spend a second here to see if there's something better. So if you take, I take it. I mean, your king is just... Your king is just out there, man. But do I have anything else? Like, if I start with this... If you go back, I mean, I'm going to try to start bringing some pieces in. I also could take this with check. Yeah, it's not so easy to block, but maybe you can use your F pawn. Hmm. Wow. Okay, let's me take this guy with check, which is a, a pretty big surprise. He's a, He doesn't have, have that many squares to go to now. Knight is always the, the secret backup plan. Let's just take this knight now. And we're up material. King is on e4. Now yeah, we're just looking for the knockout punch here. It is a little bit tricky. I think I, I somehow need my rook here. I just, I don't know how to get it there. I want to keep the king moving this way. See what he comes up with. I don't see the obvious mate, but he's clearly, he's clearly not going to survive. <laughs> I just don't know why yet. We'll find out together. All right, the king tries valiantly to run away. Let's just try to open up the position. Just going to try to open the position even more. Try to create you know, new avenues of attacks for these pieces. Surely I can figure this out without humiliating myself horrendously. It's still important to be accurate. We have a lot of time. We can try to find... Ooh. I'd say that was pretty unexpected. We can try to find a checkmate here. I think I threatened to go here. I don't know, but like, look, we're just like, we're running around in circles here. How do I checkmate you? I stay close to this pawn. I keep an eye on this guy. Obviously, white needs to just try to bring pieces in. Try to find some sort of defense here. It's not easy at all. If here, some check. Feels like... How do I... How do I win? Alright, instead he goes there. This is crazy. This is crazy! Why can't I... Why can't I checkmate you? He's so elusive. All right. Please allow me to check you here. <laughs> I think I, I think I can find a checkmate if I can if I can deliver a check here. This also kind of prevents this from happening. We'll see what he does with these rooks. Not easy to actually put the rooks on any reasonable square. So we'll we'll get there. All right. Let's see if I found it. I go here. This lets me bring my queen closer. I will go here. Preventing you from going to this square. Then I'm able to bring my rook to the b-file. Not sure if it was the absolute cleanest way, but it is definitely a way. This was a bit of a fun game. So let's actually take a minute here to go over some of the analysis of this game and see how well we played. So this is the Elephant Gambit. And after this, uh, I played knight to c6. You'll notice that Joe Bava is like literally the only guy. If you look in the Masters database, it is all Joe Bava. If you look in the Patsers database, you'll see there's only 10,000 games from this position. Now, c3 was my first surprise. Normally, people play knight to c3, after which you can pin this knight to prevent the bishop from going here. And there's a lot of tricks and traps that work well in black's favor. But if white knows what they're doing, maybe they'll get an okay position. So here I came up with this. This was the first time I had to think. So it was my first time facing c3. So I need to know what to do from here. So next time, the alternative to what I played, even though what I played worked out really well, we'll see if white could have improved. The alternative is to play bishop to d6. And now everybody plays knight d2, which is really weird. I'm trying to understand what the threat is. The threat is to castle with advantage. Um, so, okay, if people play knight to d2, you can just castle. I guess they're trying to play knight to f3. This is the most human idea. At some point, you can try to force something like this. White won't be able to castle. You play bishop to e3. Yeah, I mean, it's all of this. You're just putting as much pressure on as early as possible. It's kind of interesting. The computer even says, take this. It says, take this. 
gets the pawn back, and black has a slightly better position. Interesting. So that is another possible way of playing this position. I decided to play bishop to g4, and white could have gotten the advantage with f3. And my only thing I thought was like, all right, if you play f3, no problem. I was probably going to move my bishop back to f5. But here, the computer would say, okay, now we just go here. And if queen e3, which is the top computer move, it just moves the king out of the way. Even if you castle, it just goes on. It develops something somewhere. Goes here, goes here. And maybe this king is, is not actually that weak at all. Doesn't really matter what you do. Maybe white is just a pawn up. Very interesting. So f3 could have been played. Instead, we see queen to b3. I did get castled. Um, after this, I'm a little bit curious as to what might happen after rook to e8. This was one of the things I thought about. Idea that if you take here, I should just be able to take this pawn. I'm on this. You don't have time to take this guy because I'm taking your rook with check. But I decided instead to develop my bishop. He brought out his knight. Now I'm fully activated. And white somehow should be fine here. Queen b5 is one of the moves that I considered. Actually, wait. In this position, did I consider it? Queen b5 here actually makes... Quite a reasonable amount of sense. I could go here, just saying if you take me, I want to take back with my knight. Uh, the central point here on e3 would come under fire. After knight c4, maybe white somehow gets out of this. You're able to take this guy with check. You're able to defend the e3 square. So something like this might have been very possible. King goes to d2. I guess I'm never able to push this knight away. Here, g3, obviously. I mean, things could have gotten a little bit out of control in a line like this. Instead... Uh, we saw the opponent bring this piece here immediately, and I decided to bring the knight. Stronger is bishop to f4, attacking this guy right away. It seems very believable. I can believe. Th uh, I had kind of both of these ideas in mind, but I saw this trick. Oh, yeah, this is what happened. So I went here because I saw a trick. <laughs> My tactical trick was that I could play queen to b6, and the computer wants you to either trade or just move the knight away. But I tricked my opponent <laughs> into falling for this devious tactic. And then after I took here, he did not take back because then I'd be able to play bishop to g3. And after any move, it, take this guy or take this guy first. But then take this guy was my evil idea. All right. So what really happened was I took. He decided not to take. I did go in for this. I did. Ah, okay. Wow. Leaving the queen where it is. So obviously my plan was to go here and then win this queen. Even more deadly was to give this check immediately. And the king, let's just say he decides to run here. Well, then you'd hit him with this one. And something like this leads to a checkmate. Wow. Okay, we could have been a little bit more direct. So he'd actually be forced to give up his queen here. Pretty amazing. <laughs> but all this, this definitely works out well for me too. I did want to take this. I just wasn't, I just wanted to be 100% sure that I was going to win this game. Um, this was a thought that I had, because it feels like checkmate, and in fact, there is a mate in six, top computer move. I think, obviously, most of us were probably thinking about the move bishop to a6, top move in, in my book. h5, I mean, this feels like checkmate. I just didn't, I didn't see it during the game. Didn't want to embarrass myself, but uh, let's just say you go here, you run into some mates, everything else leads to checkmates. It's all, it's all amazing stuff. It's all coulda, woulda, shoulda, amazing sort of things. I did start with this check. And then at some point, I just took this guy. We are incredibly winning. Yeah, this move, other moves. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything too humiliating from here. Now, there is some mate threatened. I was eventually able to set something up. So there you go. Elephant Gambit. If you like it, let me know. And make sure you subscribe. See you later.